Hello there. This is just a quick run through of something that just arrived. It's two years in the making, I guess, but Planetary Annihilation. This is a Kickstarter reward. I think it was the, oh, I think it might have been the $250 reward. So a briefing is Kickstarter, crowdfunder game, goes ahead, all that kind of jazz. Now this game got announced in 2012, I think. Might have been 2013. Anyway, so it took a year to come out, and then another year for the physical rewards to come out. So that's what I'm unboxing now and going to take a look at. And as you can see, the box is reasonably big. Spin it around here and take a look at it. So Planetary Annihilation is an RTS-style game. It's quite fun. You take planets and you can smash them into each other, and it rewards massive scale combat like there might be thousands of units you'll be sending through at each other and it goes on orbital and yeah so it's good fun so unboxing here we have some airbags a lot of airbags and then we have a shirt so it's a small size shirt and it's of an asteroid smashing into a target looks all right and we also have a game box and it's signed like check that out it's proper sign too, like it all texture and stuff. So I think that's got the game in it or something like that. So what else do we have in here? We have, looks like a quick start guide. Now for someone who's had the game for a, at least a year, this is kind of silly. Nice artwork on the back though. Um, there's like a page or two that's actually in English. The rest of it's in other languages like Spanish. GG guys. Um, we have looks like my packing slip yay well that's good so I can see what I've received as well as other stuff in the box we'll get to in a sec now this here is the poster now so let's have a look in there so this is a collector's edition box it looks kind of I don't know if a bit damaged on the corner here though I don't know if you could see it there um, oh well and it, it's a very fragile kind of cardboard as well too so we'll open it up and what do we have in here? We have more airbags. Yay, this is a good thing. So we have a art book, looks like. Yep. Um, there was a PDF of this that came out, so I've got a rough idea of what it looks like. Really good artwork. Like the direction of this style is very solid colours, blocky. Oh, it's signed as well. That's cool. Very nice. TV on the bottom right. I wonder who that is. So just a quick look there. It's very glossy. Um, pages fold reasonably well. That'll be a nice reading. And it would have been a bit bigger, I thought. So let's look in here. We have a disc version of the game. No one's going to use that. We also have, what is it here? Oh, thank you, note. So this has, oh, it actually says on here that they concepted the game idea in 2012 and then put it on Kickstarter later on. So, Kai, thank you for that. Yay, John Mabel. What else do we have? We have in the bottom here, let's reach out. Oh, the miniatures. So for backing this tier, you got a bunch of three-inch statues. Now, I can see already that these aren't painted, so that's a little bit of a bummer. Let's have a look at, you know, what they look like. So we'll open them up. Now, so for this tier, it's three three-inch statues, and a height here was like one six-inch statue. So I'm looking here, it looks like... I don't know what material it is. It's bendy, so it's some form of plastic, I think. Um, let's take a close look at them. So the statues here on the left looks like the Delta Commander, the one that first came out. Let's um, get that close up to the camera. It's very detailed, but I don't know. Let's, let's take a closer look here. So you can see here it's detailed. The base is pretty fine. I mean, this will look great next to your monitor up on the stand or something like that, but I don't know. It's I was expecting something a bit more epic feeling, or maybe even coloured would have been nice, or... Yeah, I don't know. So, looks cool, but I don't know. I like the um, look of this character here, the arachnoid sort of legs. He's also probably the least balanced one in that he could fall over pretty easily when you're looking at it. And they're all resting there on top of the t-shirt. So let's look more at the actual t-shirt. T-shirt here. Looks cool. Nice artsy kind of design. In the concept art though, they, see the yellow lines there? They actually went all the way across the side. There was no sort of cut, if that makes sense. Like it was a consistent thing all the way through. 
But um, oh well, it works out, I guess. What else is here? So that that's a small size. Hopefully that works out alright. So I'm going to try and show you the poster here, and it's not that large of a poster. It looks good though. It's got signatures all over it. Signatures look nice. It's like a um, metallic kind of silverish kind of look here. And there's like one right at the bottom here. If you can see, it. Ooh, he's trying to sneak in a little squiggly line there. So it looks all fine, and hmm, that's probably about it. Yeah. So hopefully you enjoyed it all. Cheers, guys.